to discover El Paso ISD. EPISD focuses on teaching the way your child learns best. STEAM schools, early college high schools, dual language starting in pre-K. EPISD is open enrollment, so enroll now at episd.org. Welcome to the 2017 El Paso Independent School District graduation. Thank you for being here on our special day. Bienvenidos a la ceremonia de graduación escolar del Distrito Independiente del Paso. It is an exciting time in our lives, and we're glad to share it with you and our family and friends. Gracias por estar aquí con nosotros en este día tan especial. We know our graduation is a special occasion for you too. You've been with us in the good times and bad every step of the way, and we thank you. Es un momento emocionante en nuestras vidas y estamos contentos de compartirlo con ustedes, nuestra familia y amigos. Now, after all these years, we are ready to embark on new adventures by going to college and starting our careers. Sabemos que nuestra graduación es una ocasión especial. Para ustedes también. We want our last moments of high school to be memorable and dignified. Primero, queremos que nuestra ceremonia de graduación sea un momento digno y memorable. This is why we are asking you, our audience, to keep our moment special. Por esta razón, les pedimos a la audiencia que hagan este momento especial. Our parents and friends want to hear our names as we take our walk across the stage. And we want to hear our names called too. Nuestros padres y nuestros amigos quieren escuchar nuestros nombres cuando nos llamen al escenario. So please, be respectful and allow us to hear everyone's name as we walk across the stage. Están las suegras, gritos, pelotas, teléfonos celulares y otras distracciones le quitan importancia a este momento tan especial. Noisemakers, silly strings and air horns, video games, mobile devices and tablets take away from our special moment. Les pedimos que se alegran, pero con respeto. Please, cheer for us, but deliver respect. After all, you only get to see us graduate from high school once. Les agradecemos su cooperación. We've made you proud, so please make us proud. Después de todos, ustedes nos darán graduarnos de la prepa una sola vez. Thanks from the class of 2017. Gracias de parte de la clase de 2017. Descubre a El Paso ISD. EPISD se enfoca en enseñar de la forma que mejor convenga a tus hijos. Escuelas con tecnología y ciencia. Prepas con universidad anticipada. Aprendizaje en dos idiomas. EPISD es distrito de puerta abierta. Inscríbete ya en EPISD.org.
Discover El Paso ISD. EPISD focuses on teaching the way your child learns best. STEAM schools, early college high schools, dual language starting in pre-K. EPISD is open enrollment, so enroll now at episd.org. Welcome to the 2017 El Paso Independent School District graduation. Thank you for being here on our special day. Bienvenidos a la ceremonia de graduación escolar del Distrito Independiente del Paso. It is an exciting time in our lives, and we're glad to share it with you and our family and friends. Gracias por estar aquí con nosotros en este día tan especial. We know our graduation is a special occasion for you too. You've been with us in the good times and bad every step of the way, and we thank you. Es un momento emocionante en nuestras vidas y estamos contentos de compartirlo con ustedes, nuestra familia y amigos. Now, after all these years, we are ready to embark on new adventures by going to college and starting our careers. Sabemos que nuestra graduación es una ocasión especial para ustedes también. We want our last moments of high school to be memorable and dignified. Primero, queremos que nuestra ceremonia de graduación sea un momento digno y memorable. This is why we are asking you, our audience, to keep our moment special. Por esta razón, les pedimos a la audiencia que hagan este momento especial. Our parents and friends want to hear our names as we take our walk across the stage. And we want to hear our names called too. Nuestros padres y nuestros amigos quieren escuchar nuestros nombres cuando nos llamen al escenario. So please, be respectful and allow us to hear everyone's name as we walk across the stage. Están las suegras, gritos, pelotas, teléfonos celulares y otras distracciones le quitan importancia a este momento tan especial. Noise makers, silly strings and air horns, video games, mobile devices and tablets take away from our special moment. Les pedimos que se alegran, pero con respeto. Please cheer for us, but do it with respect. After all, you only get to see us graduate from high school once. Les agradecemos su cooperación. We've made you proud, so please make us proud. Después de todos, ustedes nos darán graduarnos de la prepa una sola vez. Thanks from the class of 2017. Gracias de la parte de la clase de 2017. Descubre a El Paso ISD. EPISD se enfoca en enseñar de la forma que mejor convenga a tus hijos. Escuelas con tecnología y ciencia. Prepas con universidad anticipada. Aprendizaje en dos idiomas. EPISD es distrito de puerta abierta. Inscríbete ya en EPISD.org.
Fans, in an emergency, please evacuate the Don Haskins Center. Head for the nearest aisle. Proceed to the closest exit. Walk to ground level and exit the arena. Once outside, walk as far away as possible. Please follow the instructions of arena ushers and security staff. Help those that need your assistance. Above all, keep cool and exit in an orderly manner. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the 2017 El Paso Independent School District graduation. Thank you for being here on our special day. Bienvenidos a la ceremonia de graduación escolar del Distrito Independiente del Paso. It is an exciting time in our lives, and we're glad to share it with you and our family and friends. Gracias por estar aquí con nosotros en este día tan especial. We know our graduation is a special occasion for you, too. You've been with us in the good times and bad every step of the way, and we thank you. Es un momento emocionante en nuestras vidas, y estamos contentos de compartirlo con ustedes, nuestra familia y amigos. Now, after all these years, we are ready to embark on new adventures by going to college and starting our careers. Sabemos que nuestra graduación es una ocasión especial. Para ustedes también. We want our last moments of high school to be memorable and dignified. Primero, queremos que nuestra ceremonia de graduación sea un momento digno y memorable. This is why we are asking you, our audience, to keep our moment special. Por esta razón, les pedimos a la audiencia que hagan este momento especial. Our parents and friends want to hear our names as we take our walk across the stage. And we want to hear our names called too. Nuestros padres y nuestros amigos quieren escuchar nuestros nombres cuando nos llamen al escenario. So please, be respectful and allow us to hear everyone's name as we walk across the stage. Están las suegras, gritos, pelotas, teléfonos celulares y otras distracciones le quitan importancia a este momento tan especial. Noisemakers, silly strings and air horns, video games, mobile devices and tablets take away from our special moment. Les pedimos que se alegran, pero con respeto. Please cheer for us, but do it with respect. After all, you only get to see us graduate from high school once. Les agradecemos su cooperación. We've made you proud, so please make us proud. Después de todos, ustedes nos darán graduarnos de la prepa una sola vez. Thanks from the class of 2017. Gracias de parte de la clase de 2017.
morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Julie Hawkins. And my name is Jasmine Tabler. Thank you for joining us in celebrating the 58th graduating class of Burgess High School, the class of 2017. At this time, we would, we would like to begin our ceremony by honoring our nation. We invite you to stand for the presentation of colors presented by the Burgess High School JRTC Color Guard and for the national anthem performed by the Mighty Mustang Band and Choir. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Please remain standing as the Burgess Band and Choir perform America the Beautiful and join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance and Pledge to the Texas Flag. Thank you. 
Now join me in honoring the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing as our color guard exits. We now would like to invite our friend, the talented Bianca Navarrete, to the stage, who will sing God Bless America. God bless America, lands that I love, stands beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains, to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. Let's give Bianca, our choir, band, and ROTC a big round of applause for adding to our ceremony this morning. Now please, now please welcome Michael Guillen as he presents today's invocation. Thank you, Jasmine. My name is Michael Guillen, and I invite you to join me in prayer for our time together today. God, on this ninth day of June, it is my privilege to invite you here. We ask for you to bless the class of 2017. Continue to guide us as we are about to embark on our greatest adventure yet. Whatever path we may take, may you lead us in a direction that will allow us to make a positive difference wherever we may find ourselves in the years ahead. Not only bless us, but our families, friends, faculty, counselors, staff, and administration that are here today. They were always there to support us, guide us, inspire us to learn, and challenge us to do our best. We would not be where we are today if it weren't for their dedication, time, and patience. We also ask for you to bless those who could not be here, to, here on this day, but are in our hearts. Lastly, we thank you for showing us the way. We hope you are pleased with our commencement this morning. It is in the name above all others that I pray. Amen. You may be seated. Please welcome Mark Williams and Isabella Gonzalez, who will begin this morning's ceremony. Good morning and welcome parents, families, friends, distinguished guests, teachers, and of course, the class of 2017. 
Thank you all for joining us as we close this chapter of our lives and embark on a new journey. I am proud to say that in just one short hour, we are going to be Burgess alumni and will continue to build upon the legacy we have developed during our time as Mustangs. From this point forward, you are the great authors of your life. Go live boldly, take risks, cherish your loved ones, and strive for excellence so that you can make a difference every day. As Nelson Mandela once said, it always seems impossible until it's done. Thank you again, and welcome to the Burgess High School Class of 2017 graduation. At this time, we would like to take a moment to acknowledge some special guests. EPISD Board of Trustee, Vice President, Mr. Al Velarde. <laughs> Chief School Officer, Ms. Taryn Landon. <laughs> Chief Innovation Officer, Ms. Karen Blaine. Our feeder pattern principals who are joining us this morning are from Bonham Elementary, Ms. Sandy Sanchez. From Silo Vista Elementary, Ms. Catherine McMillan. From Hawkins Elementary, Ms. Adriana Ruiz. From Huey Elementary, Ms. Lilia Aguilera. From Hillside Elementary, Ms. Cynthia Anderson. From MacArthur Middle School, Ms. Rose Ann Martinez. And from Ross Middle School, Mr. Jason Iturralde. From CCTA, Mr. Adan Lopez. And from Brown Middle School, Ms. Lori Inlow. We would like to introduce our Burgess Campus leadership, including our, our counselors, Ms. Angelica Baron Gutierrez, Mr. Richard Bruns, Ms. Susana Elias. Ms. Esther Hernandez. Ms. Onelia Lobo Guerrero. Ms. Maria Pizana. And Ms. Loretta Palacios. Our Burgess administration includes our assistant principals, Ms. Laura Carrera. Ms. Adriana Herrera, Mr. Manny Duran, and Mr. Mike Paulino. And our Burgess High School principal, our very own Dr. Randall Woods. Thank you all for joining us on this celebration. We would also like to thank all the Burgess teachers and staff in attendance. And a shout out goes out to our friends and Burgess junior, sophomore, and freshman students in the band, choir, JROTC, and student council who are all here helping make this ceremony a success. Now, it is my pleasure to welcome Janie, Jamie Saldivar, class valedictorian, to the podium. Class of 2017, teachers, faculty, parents. It is an honor to stand before you here today in hopes that I possess the ability to transform the way in which you perceive the magnitude and composition of your full potential. At this time, we celebrate a milestone, a defining moment reflective of our hard work, dedication, and tenacity. For many, high school is the epitome of a paradox a place seemingly traditional yet unpredictable, a journey full of challenges, yet these challenges yield the most reward. 
Through the occasional hardship, the frustration, the cries of defeat, we have been placed under circumstances where a portion of our mind questions whether we have what it takes to see it through. However, it is in these times of adversity that we often develop a profound sense of our strength, which is the foundation that supports each of our uptakings. Two characteristics often accompany strength, namely persistence and compassion. Personally, without persistence and compassion, I could never have gotten where I am today. A very wise woman once told me that persistence is the highest form of intelligence. As I reflected upon the statement, the validity of her statement soon inspired a transformation within me. Often at time, I am praised for my intelligence and regarded as inherently gifted. However, would you believe me if I were to admit that I am not the smartest person with the highest IQ imaginable? That I am not a genius gifted with an infinite capacity of knowledge and proficiency? Rather, persistence is what has guided me through each and every one of my endeavors, consistently driving me towards success. Therefore, you don't need to be the smartest to succeed, but practice persistence and be resilient in your course of action in spite of difficulty or opposition. Give heed to the still small voice in your head telling you to give it another try, one more try until you achieve. So thus, persistence forms the walls of the house laid by the foundations of our strength. Likewise, the magnitude of one's strength is supplemented by their ability to empathize with others through the act of compassion. In a world seemingly vulnerable to acts of self-interest, a single act of compassion may radiate far beyond our individualistic scopes. Compassion allows for us to gain perspective so that we may empathize and understand the situations of others. It is the fundamental linkage among humans and ignites exponential personal development and growth. Thus, compassion ultimately composes the roof of the house we have built, a home with strength beneath us, persistence around us, and compassion hanging over our heads. So class of 2017, Today, we stand here to rejoice in our shared triumph. We gather to close one chapter of our life, only to embark upon another. I would like to offer my humble appreciation to all the teachers and parents who have offered their constant support to allow for this achievement. My fellow classmates, remember to always strive for greatness, as the possibilities are endless for Burgess's best and brightest. Do everything with wholesome, pure intentions, and remember to remain true to not only who you are, but who you aspire to be. The duration of your journey, and along the duration of your journey, recollect that persistence and compassion superimpose strength, a strength that can guide you through even the toughest of tribulations. Thank you. And now it is my pleasure to welcome Anthony Ramirez, the class salutatorian, to share his address. Teachers, friends, faculty, and our beloved families, it is with great honor that I stand here before you today to recap these four long years and provide some insight to my fellow graduates about what lies ahead for our future. Like everyone else, we all began as naive freshmen. Some of us scared of what high school held for us and some of us eager to make the most of the next four years here at Burgess. For the fearful, we moved about cautiously, analyzing every feature of the school and its inhabitants before allowing ourselves to be at ease within its halls. For the eager, we participated in a variety of classes, sports, clubs, and activities in hopes of making the most of our first year in high school. Come sophomore and junior years, these were probably our toughest and most exhausting years. 
Each day was filled with more work and responsibilities than the last, which meant we often were desperately looking for ways to relieve stress and continue to have fun. Truth is, though, the bright glow that high school once held had now dissipated. It was now replaced with the reality that every year would be harder than the last and that the only easy year was the previous year. We each looked at our situation and realized that we were nowhere near as close to graduation as we wanted it to be. But our, but our journey through Burgess will come to an end soon enough, perhaps even too soon. At long last, senior year graced us with the pleasure and satisfaction that the end had finally come. After three long years, the end was here at last. However, there seemed, to, there seemed to be a looming sense of apprehension as graduation approached. After working tirelessly at school and at home, and for some, even at work, why would graduation summon feelings of anxiety and fear? Why was joy not the sole emotion to surface? I believe that deep in our hearts, we all know the truth. Today marks the day that we, all see, that we will see many of our friends and teachers for the last time. Even for those who don't care so much about saying goodbye, we all fear the coming of the next chapter in our lives, the real world. When we leave today, we leave as people experienced in the most basic of educations. But tomorrow, we began our first day as the fearful and the eager, the inexperienced and the naive, the freshmen of the universities of our choosing. We have all been taught all we need to know to survive, but, but tomorrow we learn to strive, to celebrate today and tomorrow as you enter adulthood. Make it an effort to work harder than you have ever worked before. I'm confident you'll find your way. Thank you. And now, Without further ado, I gladly present to you our all, Burgess, uh, our all Burgess girl and student body president, Isabella Gonzalez. Before I begin, I'd like to thank a very important person in my life, my mom. Thank you for always being the wind beneath my wings. I love you. Now, class of 2017, at any given moment in time, we have two choices. We have the choice to step forward and grow, or choose to step back, be safe, but never change. When we entered high school, we came to a fork in the road. We didn't know what would happen or what was coming next, but we knew we needed to choose one way. There are moments that many of us wish we could relive, and many we wish never happened but each moment made us stronger, and it helped us to grow. As freshmen, we walked wide-eyed through the halls, struggling to find our classes. We flourished from those clueless newbies to sophisticated sophomores, when we thought we had everything under control because we had one year of high school under our belts. By the time we were juniors, we were looking at the seniors waiting for them to leave so we can be the next rulers of the school. Now, those days have passed. And here we are, about to become the kings and queens of our lives. It is time to take yet another risk, to jump out into the unknown once again and close this small chapter in our lives. In life, we will run into obstacles, obstacles that are towering and put in our way to test us, to see if what we want is really truly worth fighting for. Most people will avoid taking risks and they get stuck doing things they already know how to do but successful people, they are quite different. They take risks, they do new things, despite maybe being afraid of making a mistake. Seniors, class of 2017, for what it is worth, it is never too late or too early to be whoever you've dreamed to be. There is no limit on being extraordinary, but there are endless limits on choosing to be ordinary. You can choose to stay the same, but imagine everything you will be missing out on. 
I hope you see things that startle you. I hope you feel things that you've never felt before. I hope you meet people with a different point of view. But most of all, I hope you live a life you are proud of. I leave you with this. Do not live your life counting down the seconds or the minutes or the years. Do not dwell on the past or the negatives. Instead, learn from the past and take from the negatives. Measure moments with memories, focus on the positive, and take risks. Congratulations, class of 2017. We're not done quite yet. We have one more speech, guys, and it's a good one. We will now hear from Seth Van Meter, class of 2017, All Burgess Boy. Before I begin, I just want to go ahead and dedicate this speech to my grandparents. I love you all very dearly. Throughout the past four years, I've learned a lot. I've learned that the mitochondria is a powerhouse of a cell. Sign is a squiggly looking graph, I think. Tashkent is a capital of Uzbekistan. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is indeed, in fact, a country called Uzbekistan. However, uh, listen, I gotta be serious with you guys. The greatest lesson that I ever learned in high school never came to me through a classroom. In fact, it came to me through a different teacher. It came to me through hip hop. Freshman year, Childish Gambino dropped his single, 3005. In the chorus, he sings, that no matter what you say or what you do, when I'm alone, I'd rather be with you. I'll just be right by your side till 3005, hold up. Now, when I first heard this, this came to me during a time when I was meeting so many more new people, meeting all these crazy and awesome people at public school. Now this helped me how to love other people. It helped me to learn that I can't always be my friend's savior. However yet, I can be their support. That sometimes I won't always understand their trials and tribulations. However yet, I can still be by their side holding their hand. So overall, I learned that the big difference between acquaintances and best friends is simply showing up. So although I'm not great at it, I learned how to love others. Then sophomore year came around and J. Cole just so happened to release the groundbreaking album, 2014 Forest Hills Drive. Yeah. In his song, apparently, he spits the bar that I got my wings to carry me, I don't know freedom. I want my dreams to rescue me. Now sophomore year was when I started to get involved more with school. And another thing to be serious, the sophomore year was when school got a bit boring. I mean, we've been in it for four years. It's not always the most attentive, the most exciting. But this song taught me that in order for me to sometimes save myself or to save us from the monotony and from the bleak nature of our environment is to have passion in what we do. To have a little bit of love helps to just stop making it work to help stop making it just assignments and to actually make it something uniquely us. And although I'm not too great at it, I learned how to love what I do. Then junior year came around with the hardest lesson of them all. This came to me in Kendrick Lamar's meaningful bars in his single, I. He raps that I love myself. The world is a ghetto with big guns and picket signs. I love myself but it can do what it want whenever it want. I don't mind, I love myself. You know, life is more than just suicide. I love myself one day at a time. The sun gonna shine. And this song, like so many of us, came to me at a time of uncertainty. Being a teenager in high school isn't always easy. We're trying to find out who we are, what's our identity. And sometimes living in this world, it's easy to get kicked down and told no a lot. Sometimes it's hard to be who you wanna be, to be you. However, this song taught me that the hell with everybody else. If you can love yourself, then you can make your world so much better. 
that if you can wake up every single morning and look in the mirror and recognize that you have imperfections and not just accept them, but embrace them, well, then it doesn't matter what the weather is. Then it's always going to be a sunny day. And senior year came around, and hey, I mean, I thought I knew everything. That was until January of this year when Big Sean dropped his album, I Decided. Ironically, on the last track, he begins to say that all I want to do is make the city project, wishing all the OGs could see me, nah, nah, yeah. Now when he feels something you can't see, but you know what's meant to be, you're going to realize that this is bigger than me that this is bigger than me. And then it hit me, almost like a revelation. You know, hip hop's pretty cool, but it ain't that cool. All these lessons of love of which I had learned over the past few years represented something so much larger than just songs. You see, I didn't learn how to love others from a chorus on a Gambino track. I learned how to love others from the best and the most loving parents a kid could ever ask for. I learned how to love what I do from teachers who cared more about their students than a paycheck. It came to me from coaches who stayed well past overtime to make sure that their athletes were taken care of. I learned how to love myself from a brother who is by all means his own individual. It came to me from friends who exuded confidence so much that they were so nice to give some over to me. And I learned all of this from so many amazing, talented, awesome, phenomenal, extraordinary people in this arena here today that made my life nothing short but a blessing. So, as a class of 2017, as we go out into this world, a world that sometimes seems very cold, very angry, and sometimes very uncertain of itself, we have to realize is that we need to be the generation to change this, that all of us here can make a resounding difference in the world. And it's pretty easy. All we got to do is go out in the world and we can make a difference with the greatest lesson that could ever be wrapped. Thank you. I would also like to wish a happy birthday to Ryan Huizar. He is turning 18 today. Now let's please welcome Dr. Randall Woods. That was a tough act to follow. I promise I won't rap. It was going to get ugly there. Good morning and, and welcome again to the 58th graduating ceremony of Burgess High School. Today, as I am pleased to recognize all of you who are graduating as Texas scholars as a result of the successful completion of the recommended high school program or distinguished achievement program. It is by your achievement in completing a rigorous high school curriculum that you have developed a high level of preparation and opportunity for success in higher education or in employment. As a way of recognizing you and your hard work, the El Paso Independent School District has provided you with Texas Scholar Medallions to wear on this special day. We hope that whenever you look upon this medallion, you will remember through your, your dedicated efforts that your high school education becomes on this day the foundation upon which to build your future accomplishments. The graduating class of 2017 is a highly competitive class. And over the course of their senior year, Burgess has accumulated much success. I'd like to take a minute and run through just a few of the accomplishments from this past year achieved by our talented Burgess students. So quickly, our volleyball team won yet another bi-district championship, while senior Ariel Mack, who will be headed to Mizzou on a D1 athletic scholarship, was named All-State for both volleyball and track.
Our cheerleading squad participated for the first time in the UIL Spirit State Championships, where they've represented Burgess with much spirit and enthusiasm. Okay? Our football team advanced to the playoffs, while to my delight, it took down the Northeast side rivals during the regular season. And if you don't know who that is, shame on you, okay? Um, it's very important to me. Two of our graduating seniors will be playing football at their universities, including Odell Graham, who will be suiting up for us at the Coast Guard Academy. Both our girls and boys basketball teams advanced furthest among the El Paso 1-5A schools to the state playoffs, with our girls winning their fourth consecutive district by district area and regional champions. Okay? Our boys basketball program for the 2016-17 season was a history, uh, history making season going 28 and 5. This team advanced to our first ever Elite Eight in the 1-5A state playoffs. Both of our basketball teams have senior graduates who have earned multiple All-State awards and will be playing ball at the next level on full scholarships. Our junior ROTC program was awarded the honor unit with distinction, the highest accreditation rating by the JROTC program can achieve. They placed first in the armed and unarmed orientation competitions throughout the year, and the armed drill team was selected to compete for the Blue Bonnet Military Skills Meet in Houston, where it placed third overall and won the regu regulation drill phase of the competition. The, accum the unit accumulated over 4,000 hours of community service in support of our community, our schools, our feeder pattern, and our district. Our district golf team advanced to regionals for the 12th year in a row with two seniors finishing at the top second and fifth place finishers in our district. Our dance company, Amakai Courier, performed at the Flash Dance and EPSD Dance Festival, sending one of our very own to represent Burgess as an all-state dancer at the Texas Dance Educators Association in Houston. Our Burgess Theater Company advanced to the UIL state competition for the fifth time in the last 13 years. With this last trip to the state, Burgess has made the most appearances in state competition among all area, El Paso area high schools. Our orchestra, band, and choir programs all achieved various first division superior in their respective solo and ensemble UIL state competitions. Band had six state qualifiers, choir took seven to state, while orchestra also sent a state qualifier to competition. Band earned her first division rating in the Eastern Arizona College Marching Competition and also earned the Outstanding Percussion Award. Burgess Technology students won three of four three of four awards in the 2017 ISD CO2 Dragster Challenge hosted by Western Technical College. Two Burgess Engineering F1 CO2 car teams competed at this year's state one, uh, F1 car in school competition, while one team, the Blitz Racing Team, advanced to the Nationals F1 car in school competition. In fact, the team flew back to El Paso late last night to be here this morning and will fly back out this afternoon to finish the competition at Nationals. Okay, three of our engineering seniors embarked on a challenge presented by NASA and UTEP this past year. The challenge was designed and develop a CUBE satellite. Because of their research and design, they were invited to present at this year's UTEP Mechanical Engineering Symposium. They impressed, they impressed and went on to be the only high school invited to present to NASA, Lockheed, and Boeing officials. Due to their professional presentation, these students have been offered a working scholarship at UTEP Mechanical Engineering uh, Center and Space Exploration and Technology Research. Impressive. For speech and debate, we have 14 students qualified for state for the Texas Forensics Association Dramatic Humorous Duo, duo Categories, while, you, uh, while Burgess also has a student representing all of Texas at a National Speech and Debate Association competition in Birmingham, Alabama for dramatic interpretation this summer. The newspaper and yearbook were both awarded the Silver Star by Texas by UIL, winning 80 seven individual medals for their work in writing, photography, editing, and layout and design with our yearbook staff finishing first in all 26 categories in this year's competition. Burgess was the only school in the city to qualify a journalism student for, student for the state meet. Okay. 
this is just a smattering of what Burgess students accomplished this year. And this class specifically led the way in showing the true meaning of Burgess excellence. Congratulations. Many of our graduates are wearing regalia signifying their achievements, including white and gold cords, which distinguishes students as candidates or graduate for successfully completing a Distinguished Achievement Plan, or DAP. The DAP curriculum is the state's most rigorous, and students must complete four additional measures beyond the recommended plan. Other honors include the green cords, for accumulating at least 90 hours of community service over the course of their high school careers purple cords for graduating in the top 10% with it based on their GPA. The teal cords for success complete, successful completion of six dual credit classes. And the honor stoles for our National Honor Society and National Technical Honor Society. In addition, the graduating seniors seated before you wearing their white gowns represent the top 10% of their class. This year, we, are, we want to recognize a young man whose determination and grit also allowed him to complete a unique feat. This young man is the first graduate of the Burgess Early College High School. He is graduating high school in three years with a total of 56 college hours and will soon earn his associate's degree over the summer. The accomplishment of this task, this student took night courses at EPC along with a full high school load uh, while being a part-time employed. So at this time, I'd like to recognize Ruben Villarreal would you please stand to be recognized? <laughs> Reuben, you have truly taken Robert Frost's words to heart. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverge in a woods, and I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Congratulations, Reuben. You have set the bar high for our Burgess uh, Early College graduates next year. We are proud of you, and we know that your experience will, you will experience many more successes in your journey. At this time, I would like to recognize the top 2%. And I ask, when you hear your name call, would you please come forward to the stage to receive your medallion? Mr. Blardy, would you come forward? In alphabetical order, our top 2% high school honor graduates are Jaden Fioca. <laughs> our next is Isaac Ortiz. Next is Anthony Michael Ramirez. <laughs> Jamie Saldivar. Olivia Valerio. and Mark Williams.
The valedictorian of each graduating class stands apart academically, and in doing so, will be receiving a certificate that grants a full tuition waiver to any Texas public university. This year's student with the highest grade point and the class of 2017 valedictorian is Jamie Saldivar. Would you please come forward? Please give these graduates a round of applause as recognition for their outstanding achievement. So if I could have if I could have the lights turned on and okay. Class of 2017, please stand. Members of the board, as principal of Burgess High School, I certify that all students receiving diplomas today have met all requirements for graduation as prescribed by the Board of Trustees, the El Paso Independent School District, and the state of Texas, and are entitled to receive their diplomas. Graduates, please be seated. If we can now have our staff and district leadership stand and move into position for roll call. As our staff moves into position for roll call, I want to take this time to thank our graduates' families. We know you have entrusted us with your greatest treasures, and today as much as any accomplishment for you as it is for your sons and daughters. So congratulations, families. All right, class of 2017, it is now time to receive your diplomas. Let's have the first rows move forward. Adrian Alanis. Victoria Samantha Badillo. Valerie Lizette Chavez. Jaden Fioca. Stephanie Flores. Isabella Brooke Gonzalez. Michael Felipe Guillen. Lauren Nicole Herrera. Julie Brianne Hakes. Samantha Jimenez. Viviana Marie Lewis. Ariel Denise Mack. Angel Gerardo Martinez. Bianca Carolina Navarrete. Isaac Luis Rey Ortiz. Brianne Victoria Parham. Anthony Michael Ramirez. Italy Anel Ramos. Madeline Renee Ramos. Audrina Mariana Rosales Streeter. Ryan Matthew Ross. Jamie Christine Saldivar.
Jasmine Sue Tabler. Paulina Tobar Garcia. María Guadalupe Uribe. Olivia Valerio. Diego Valles. Seth Madison Van Meter. Mark Austin Williams. Elaine Rose Antonia Winfield. Ruben Angel Villarreal. Ricardo Rubén Abascal. Lauranet Acuña. Victoria Aguilar. The middle name. Gabriel Alcantar. Michael D'Angelo Aldaña. Kaylee Faith Louise Alfieri. Nathaniel Edmundo Alvarado. Adrián Álvarez. Carolyn Crystal Antunes. Samuel Santiago Apodaca. Anna Marie Arellano. Tomás Adrián Arismendez. Priscila Taiset Armendaris. Alexis Marie Armenta. Aileen Yadira Arredondo. Margarita Ávalos. Mariah Bailey. Genesis Abigail Barraza. Noemi Barraza Díaz. Dion Isaiah Bauman. Zachary Seth Beltran. Leslie Nicole Benavides. Jade Rose Bloom Ramos. Mildred Bonilla. Linda Nicole Briseño. Cody Cheyenne Britton. Christian Paul Brown. Jonathan Isaiah Brown. Osiel Antonio Bruno. Abraham Jamie Camacho.
Adrian Carrera. Jonathan Carrillo. Gabriel Emilio Castañeda. Luis Ricardo Castillo Jr. Sofía Maxine Castillo. Fabián Castro. Freddy Héctor Cervantes. Raúl de León Cervantes Jr. Victoria Cervantes. Brian Chávez. Connie Chávez Enríquez. Savannah Chávez. Itzel Chavira. Sebastian Jonathan Chung. Michael Aaron Cisneros. Cynthia Lizette Coria. Daniel Corralejo Jr. Victoria Andrea Cuellar. Freedom Nicole Davis. Elías Alberto de la Cruz. Destiny Hope de la Riva. Guillermo David de la Rosa. Juan Eduardo de Santiago the Third. Sarah Denise Del Valle. Benjamin William Max Diaz. Raul Jose Diaz. Julieta Dana Diaz Silva. Al Domínguez. Ashley Paola Domínguez. Michael Domínguez. Haley Hope Dorado. Nicole Duarte. Alejandra Esquivel Saucedo. Naida Janet Estrada. Brandon Elliot Flores Alvarado. Esmeralda Leticia Flores Mata. Jasmine Monique Flores. Raymond Jesse Flores. <clears throat> Stephanie Flores. Tristan Page Fornia. Jorge Ivan Frias. Jamie Galán. Iris Raquel Gamboa. 
Lisa Gándara. Cynthia Garcia. Erna Garcia. Eric Garcia. Isabel Cheyenne Garcia. Esteban Gardea. Lynn Tyler Gemmel. Sarah Ann Gill. Desiree Nicole Gomez. Emily Lynn Gomez. Lisbeth Guadalupe Gomez. Daniela Gomez Herrera. Zina, Zina Gomez Tagle. Damien Gonzalez. Victoria Veronica Gonzalez. Delilah Brianna Grado. Odell Marquis Graham. Sergio Daniel Grajeda Alvarez. Nathaniel Christopher Guevara. Aaron Gutierrez Martinez. Luis Alejandro Gutierrez. Melanie Anaí Gutierrez Tena. Anessa Ann Hernandez. David Ulises Hernandez. Ruth Hernandez. Sofia Renee Hernandez. Rachel Elizabeth Radek. Ryan Huizar. Sydney Taylor Francesca Hurtado. Cruz Markham Jacobo. Sergio Adrián Jaramillo II. Leonor Jimenez. Evelyn Graciela Juarez. Isaí Caro. Joshua Anthony Lechuga. Victoria Lynn Lee. Angelica Leonard. Natalia Jasmine Leos. Tyler Ray Levac. Yadira Leiva. Oscar Ivan Liserio. Derek and Cabo Littles. 
Mia Marie Lopez. Christian Gabriel Lozano Manriquez. Jose Francisco Macias. Sergio Roberto Magallanes. Danny Jonathan Magaña. Jonathan Maldonado. Omar Maldonado. Lindsay Elizabeth Marcy. Lauren Michelle Marenko. Marianne Marquez. Nicholas Joel Marrufo. Mackenzie Elizabeth Martinez. Marco Antonio Martinez. Carlos Matamoros III. Gerardo José Medina Rodríguez. Joshua Megliorino. Martín Méndez. Aaron Mercado Alvarado. Juliana Ray Messer. Viridiana Mesa Villanueva. Jerry Eliu Molina. Joel Molina the Junior. Tyon DeAndre Monroe. Abraham Gabriel Montana. Adrian Rosario Montelongo. Jose Miguel Morales Calderón. Brianna Leonela Muñoz. Mario Eduardo Nájera Jr. Oscar Ignacio Nájera. Cassandra Navarro. Keres Monique Nevarez. Ron Neil Norman. Orion Yedesh Ocon. Matthew Ness Olivas. Brianna Destiny Ortega. Federico Ortega. Diego Mar Ortiz. Aaron Joseph Palacios. Michelle Alejandra Perales. Angel Dominic Perez. Antonio Rodolfo Perez. Yeah. 
Lisbeth Guadalupe Perez. Priscilla Perez. Amanda Rose Portillo. Carlos Daniel Puente. Maribel Kian. Adrian Quintana. Alan Dwight Rabb. Karina Andrea Ramirez. Vanessa Melissa Ramirez. Jenna Jasmine Renteria. Jorge Retana. Jaime David Reza Jr. Dominic Christian Rivera. Yael Hernan Rivera Mendoza. Brianna Elizabeth Rodriguez. Juan Ángel Rodríguez. Luis Carlos Rodríguez. Michelle Alejandra Rodríguez. Paola Daviana Rodríguez Mendoza. Patrick Xavier Rodriguez. Vanessa Nicole Rojas. Jaime Romero Jr. Jamie Ray Romero. Ruth Romero Rosales. John Raymond Ronquillo. Ashley Nicole Rubio. Tyler Anthony Rizek. Karen Paola Sainz Portillo. Esmeralda Salas. Marco Antonio Salas Jr. Verónica Salcido. Julián Ángel. Samaniego. Mar Sandoval. Emily Rose Sanchez. Yared Sanchez. Ashley Marie Sarmiento. Scott Lewis Shire. Paulina Gail Sherman. Jose Andres Sias. Ernesto Silva Jr. Brianna Nicole Singleton. Yeah. 
Samantha Maribel Sliva. Adolfo Soto. Jack Christopher Sulak. Melissa Tellez. Arileisa Thrash. Joel Jesus Torres Jr. Joseph Ryan Torres. Juan Carlos Torres. Noemi Uranga. Kevin Florentino Valdez. Kristen Nicole Valdez. Brian Joshua Valenzuela. Carlos Siboné Valles Alemán. Victoria Valtierra. Jorge Luis Vasquez III. Moses Velasquez. Vicente Villarreal Castro. Natasha Walker. Lucy Irene Wernicke. Albert Sarasua. Kaylin Erin Savala. Brianne Subiate. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce to you the graduates, the class of 2017. I want to leave you all with this, graduates. Wherever your future leads you, I will be watching out and cheering for you. I am looking forward to updates from your lives and seeing where your education leads. Congratulations on this day. Follow your passions, continue to be leaders, and be Burgess excellent. God bless you. Italy. Before we begin, we would like to thank your parents. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I love you. Gracias, Mamá y Papá, por todo su apoyo. Los amo. Now, friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May you never forget where you came from. May you always remember you are a Mustang. Some have a story. We have a legacy. 
This chapter of our life is just one of many blessings we'll continue to receive. From here on out, there will still be many obstacles that we will have to overcome. But with the Lord on our side, anything is possible. Okay, come on, Tristan, let's do this. Mustangs, please stand. Okay, guys, let's do this chant loud and proud one last time. Graduate, can you dig it? Grads, can you dig it? Okay, we're going to do it again. Come on, let's try it. Ready? One, two, three. Grads, can you dig it? Grads, can you dig it? There we go. Now, if my fellow classmates will please join me in counting down to the turning of our tassels from right to left. Three, two, one. Congratulations, class of 2017. We now ask that your attention be directed to the Burgess High School Choir, who will sing our school's alma mater. It will be immediately followed by the Burgess Band, who will play the fight song. Guys, one last time, lock pinkies. 